Happy Tri-Tip Tuesday, everyone. This is week two in a series of videos that are all about really quick, super fast triathlon-related tips that maybe don't deserve their own five to 10-minute video, but it's stuff that's on my mind that I'm thinking about that I wanna share with you guys. So today, three beginner to intermediate triathlon tips related to making race day more enjoyable. So number one, super common, you're driving to the race or you wake up at 3 a.m. the night before and you don't remember if you've packed everything. Make your checklist, write down everything you're gonna need, really go through it. And then rather than just putting that stuff directly into a bag, lay it out, take a photo of all of your gear laid out. Once you've got that photo, then it can go directly into your bag. At any point, if you don't remember if you've packed anything, pull up your phone, take a look at the photo. If it's there, you've got it. If it's not, you don't. It makes the whole process a lot more stress-free. Part number two this week is related to transition. The number one most common thing searched on YouTube for beginner triathlon tips is beginner triathlon tips transition. And that tells me that a lot of people are not comfortable with the actual transition area. And the most simple thing that I could do to tell you, slow down. It's literally just putting your clothes on and changing gear from one activity to the next. I absolutely promise you that the 10 or 15 or 20 seconds that you will spend extra just comfortably relaxing will not make a difference to your overall time. Compared to fumbling around and accidentally knocking everything over, knocking your bike over, forgetting your helmet and then getting a penalty, it's not worth it. Calm down, take the time, relax and focus. The last tip for race day is specifically focused on the swim. If you're an experienced advanced swimmer, you can skip this, but for the majority of us who are either new to swimming when they get into triathlon or are not super comfortable swimming either in a pack or in a race environment or in open water, can be super intimidating, right? Slow down. My very first triathlon was actually an open water triathlon. So while I was comfortable swimming, I had never swam open water. I didn't have a point of reference. I didn't know how fast I was going. And what was happening is I was actually working way past my ability. I was essentially setting PRs every 50 yards, but I didn't know it because I couldn't see anything. Rather than having that black line or making that turn, I was just swimming out. So I didn't know how far I was going. I was way over swimming my ability. I was going deep into the red. And then that made it so that I then spent the next half of the swim basically choking up water and trying to back float to catch my breath. The third triathlon that I did was much more enjoyable. And the biggest thing that I did was simply swim comfortably. The best triathlon swim that you can have, in my opinion, is one that you will describe as comfortably boring. You don't need to worry about getting that extra two or three minutes in the swim. Take the extra 10 seconds or five seconds or 15 seconds per hundred. Swim a comfortable, relaxing pace. Keep your heart rate super down. When you get close to the shore, kick a little bit harder to get some additional blood flow into your legs in the last 10 or 15 seconds of the swim. Stand up, get into transition like we talked about, and you're going to be great. So that's it. Week two of Tri-Tip Tuesday. I hope to see you guys on the next week, and I hope that your racing and training this week is freaking awesome.